<laughs> With Professor Rashid's time machine, we are unstoppable! <laughs> we have to stop them, Morpho! Morph into a dinosaur superhero! Can't do any more damage. No way! This is not how it's supposed to happen. Let's get them all together so I can zap them back into prehistoric times. Quickly, pick up the Triceratops, Morpho. <laughs> I think you forgot one dinosaur! <laughs> oh no! Morpho! <laughs> Quick, to the lab! We need to find out where he went! Tubes. Hang on, Morpho! That should do it. I'm so glad you're okay. accidentally dropped this life ray that I was going to present at the National Science Conference. And it zapped your toy dinosaurs to life. But it broke, and I can't zap the dinosaurs back again. Hmm. Mila, can you look after them while I fix my life ray? Of course, Professor Rashid. I'm sure we'll have lots of fun together. Great. I'll be back as soon as I can.
Hey, toy dinosaurs, while we wait for the professor to return, let's play a game! than expected, but it's fixed now. Let's go back to the toy dinosaurs right away. I hope nothing bad has happened while I was gone. Oh, tumbling test tubes. Professor, do you want to join the picnic? We've been having great fun! Thank you, Mila, but I think it's time to zap the dinosaurs back into toys. Steady. Oh. Professor Rashid, I don't think the toy dinosaurs want to go back to being toys. They've been having much more fun as living dinosaurs. Yes, Mila, but the city is no place for dinosaurs. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Maybe Zookeeper Kenneth has a place for them. What's this? Are those giant toy dinosaurs? Yeah, Professor Rashid accidentally zapped them with his life ray. Do you have a place for the toy dinosaurs to live, Zookeeper Kenneth? Well, the zoo only has one place for big animals, and the elephants already live there. But... During my travels, I think I spotted an uninhabited island where the toy dinosaurs could live. Let's go there right away, Morphle. 
There it is! You seem to have fun already! is a great home for you. But we need to go home again as well. Bye, toy dinosaurs! Bye-bye! Hey, everybody! Are you ready to come travel back in time with us? We're going to visit the age of the dinosaurs! Ooh, dinosaurs! There are all sorts of different dinosaurs, and we are going to study them all. Let's go! Here we are, the age of dinosaurs. Look! Oh no! Those are Velociraptors! Velociraptors are small but dangerous dinosaurs. Whoa! Tumbling test tubes! Whew, that was close. Thank you, Morph. Morph, morph into a Gallimimus! Wow! Gallimimus is one of the fastest dinosaurs there is! Great, Morphle! Look over there! Those are Argentinosauruses! They are so big! But they only eat plants! <laughs> We need to save that egg, Morpho. Morph into a pteranodon. You did it, Morpho. Now we need to find the mother of this egg. Hmm. It doesn't look like an Argentinosaurus egg. No! Look! There are some Argentinosaurus eggs right there! Let's keep searching. A Triceratops! Triceratops had three big, sharp horns. But look, those eggs are different from the egg we have. So this egg isn't a Triceratops egg. Interesting. Whoa! A real Pteranodon. And it's trying to chase us away from her eggs. Pteranodon eggs don't look like the one we have. Let's fly away quickly. Those are Ankylosauruses. They can use the end of their tails to hit really hard. Look at that eggshell. It's different from ours as well. Crocodiles. Huh? How can there be crocodiles in 
in the time of the dinosaurs. Crocodiles are a really old species and already existed in the time of the dinosaurs. Wow! But look, even the crocodile eggs look different from ours. Oh, I don't think we're ever going to find the mother of this egg. Wants to eat us. Run! Morphle, morph into a T Rex. A Spinosaur is way bigger than a T Rex. It wants to eat us, but what does it want? I know, it wants the egg. The Spinosaurus is the mother of this egg. Phew, that was close. Good thinking, Mila. I wonder how the toy dinosaurs are doing, Morphle. Morph into a pterodactyl. Great! You are here to save me! I'm stuck on this island, and it's filled with... giant monsters! <laughs> Those aren't monsters! They're the toy dinosaurs! No way! It will eat you! They're not scary! They are my toys! Professor Rashid's light ray zap them to life! Wow! Really? Morphle, morph into a T-Rex, too! This is amazing! Now, let's play! National Day of Dinosaurs, Professor Rashid has helped the city to organize a special dinosaur race! Wow, that's so cool! Let's join two Morphle. Morph into a T-Rex. But wait, we have another contestant. The winner of the race gets this beautiful award. Is everybody ready? Three, two, one! 
one, go! <laughs> Let's compete too, Yorn. Yeah. <laughs> Dinosaurs, huh? Not in my city. <laughs> Congratulations to the winners! We didn't win, Morphle, but at least we have a fair winner. <laughs> to a T-Rex, too. Wow! Wow! Morphle is scared. Don't worry, Morphle. I think it's almost time for Brother Time to zap us back to our own time. Look! We're back! Yay! Thank you, Brother Time. Using your magic pet powers, we went to the past and saw lots of dinosaurs. Yeah! Thank you! Did you hear that, Yarn? Yeah, they saw a lot of dinosaurs. Yes, and they had a lot of fun. <sighs> This means we can go to the past as well. Oh, good idea, Stein. And in the past, we can gather dinosaurs to create our own dino army. Wow, I always wanted to be a general, Stein. <laughs> What's that? <gasps> oh no, stop it, Bandit. We need to follow them, Morphle. <laughs> Keep up, Yon. <laughs> uh oh, I can't. 
can't see them anymore. Morphle cannot, too. <gasps> I know! Morphle, morph into a search dog! Look, Yon. They are so cute and little. They will be the first members of our dino army. I don't think they want to join us, Stein. Come on, guys. It's going to be great. Ah! Ah! <laughs> bandits! Oh, no. The bandits are in trouble. Morphle, morph into a Gallimimus so we can catch up with them. Yeah! Now morph into a T-Rex to scare the Velociraptors away. <laughs> Bandits, the age of the dinosaurs is very dangerous. It really is, Stein. I guess you're... <laughs> Morph into a pterodactyl. I can't fly. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, ah, morph into a triceratops so you can pin down its tail. Thank you. Ah, uh, Stein, behind you. Uh oh. Help us! <laughs> T Rex and the Velociraptors. <gasps> Can't you morph into something? <laughs> Try to go! Oh no! I have an idea. Morphle, morph into a big Argentinosaurus. Woo, we're safe here. Great. I love you, Morphle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we only have to wait until Brother Time's hourglass runs out of sand and we will be sent back to our own time. Look! We're back! Yeah! Uh, <clears throat> maybe the dino army wasn't such a good plan after all. No! Mila, Morpho, look at this new toy I got! Oh! Ah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Morpho, it's story time. Once upon a time, there was a mama duck whose eggs were about to hatch. When they did, little baby ducks came out. All of them were super cute and fluffy, except for one of the ducklings. It was different because it was big and red and it didn't have any feathers. And instead of quacking, it sounded like this. I is a duckling! It wanted to play with its brothers and sisters, but they said it was ugly and they made fun of it. Mean. Yes, the brothers and sisters of the duckling were really mean. It made the duckling very sad. So 
sad that it flew off to play by itself. And when it was there by itself, all sad, all of a sudden, a giant dinosaur appeared. It chased the little duckling around. The little duckling flew for its life. There were big dinosaurs everywhere. Then it flew into the claws of a giant flying dinosaur called the pterodactyl. The little duckling was sure that the pterodactyl was about to eat it. But it didn't. Do you know why? No, Muffle, no, no. Because it was the duckling's real mother. You see, the duckling wasn't really a duckling. When it was just an egg, it accidentally rolled into the duckling's nest. The duckling grew larger and larger until it was just as big as its mommy. The end. Daniel Duckling, go see a brothers and sisters. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. So, the dino duckling went back to visit its mean brothers and sisters. And... They were bullying a new duckling because it had big feet. Yeah, and the dino duckling roared really loudly and it chased away its mean brothers and sisters. And they lived happily ever after. The end.